Chapter 8, practice exam number 9. Above a well, a bucket of mass 2.1 kilograms is attached to a rope that is wound around the outside of a cylinder of radius quarter of a meter. When the bucket is allowed to fall from rest, it falls 10.5 meters in 2.1 seconds. I want to know the mass of the cylinder. So there's two ways to do this. One way is with rotational dynamics, and one way is with energy conservation. This video deals with using energy conservation to solve the problem. So we need to look at a before and after picture. So before the bucket is allowed to fall, what we have is a cylinder that is not moving and a bucket, bucket that is also not moving. But let's say it's at a height. I'm going I'm to have it start at this height and then fall to zero. It's at a height of 10.5 um, meters. So HI 10.5 meters. Okay. Then the bucket is allowed to fall so that the bucket is at a height of zero. Okay. Well, ignore that. That's the last video exporting in order to upload it. Um, but when that happens, the bucket is now moving. I don't know how fast. And this thing is now spinning. Again, don't know how fast, but I know that they're moving. Okay. I have to figure out how fast they're moving. I'm going to need that. Um, I have some things that I need that I I'm going to need, for instance, the rotational inertia of the moment of inertia of a cylinder is half mr squared. Okay. And it is allowed to fall. That It takes 2.1 seconds to do the fall. And it falls from rest. And yeah, I think that's everything. Okay. Well, right away, I can do a little bit of kinematics to figure out um, VF. So let's let's do that first. And I'm going to go ahead and go bigger. Okie dokie. So let's do some kinematics. I can do, let's see, this one to find A. I know it doesn't seem like I need A, but I'm going to need A. So I know this thing starts from rest, so this is gone. Um, so what I end up with is it ends up at a height of zero, okay? And it started at a height of 10.5 meters, okay? That's going to equal or plus one half. I don't know a, but I do know t squared. If I do that, I end up with that a. Oops, is negative, hang on, I have it written down here somewhere, uh, 4.76 meters per second squared. Okay, with that, I can do another kinematic equation. Uh, this one's the easiest one. V equals V naught plus AT. I want to know how fast it's going, so that's going to be. Um, Starts at zero plus negative four point six or seven six times two point one. Now, if you went and had this stored in your calculator already, um, either store it in a memory function or just it's still on your calculator. When you do this, you actually end up with ten, like on the dot, boom, just ten. It's kind of weird. I did not like plan that. It just kind of happened. I don't know why. I like it was really weird. I just kind of picked numbers and that's what happened. So I've got VF final is not a question mark. It is in fact 10 meters per second. Okay. Um, that's going to allow us to find this as well. In fact, I could find it right now, but I'm going to choose to put it in when I do some stuff over here. It'll make some nice stuff cancel out and such. So, okay, now that I have a final velocity, I'm armed with what everything I need to actually do the problem. So, I'm going to do 
energy conservation. Um, let's go with black. So I know that the energy I start with has to equal the energy I end with. Well, the energy I start with is no kinetic, nothing's moving, but I do have some height. So I'm going to start with mgh. Okay. Now when I'm done, height is gone, so no more potential energy. But what I do have is two kinds of kinetic energy. I have the kinetic energy of the bucket plus the kinetic energy of the rotational kinetic energy of the cylinder. Okay. So I'm going to plug some stuff in here. For instance, the kinetic or the, the moment of inertia for a cylinder is the one half mr squared. Big M. Big M is this, little m is this. Okay. And I still have omega final squared, but I know that V equals omega R, which means I can replace omega with V over R, but don't forget to square it. Still got a square hanging out there. Okay, so what that gets me, um, I'm concerned with big M. That's only in this one term, so I'm going to go ahead while I'm doing things from line to line. I'm going to go ahead and switch this other term to the other side since it's not actually uh, like I don't need it right now. Minus one half m v final squared equals. So well, I've got a one half one half, so that gives me a fourth. Okay, I've got an m here, big M. Now what I've got here I've got an r squared, and then this squared is going to get distributed into an r squared, so actually these are going to go away. And I'm just left with a v squared. Okay. Now I just need to get m alone. So let's see, that's multiply by 4, divide by v. If I do that, and I'm going to factor an m out too just to make things a little bit easier on me mathematically, I'm going to get a 4 on the left times m times the quantity GHI minus one half. Oop, ah, did you see that? Did you see that? Sorry, it's glitching a lot. VF squared. And then all over, this should be a VF, VF squared. Okie dokie. Do, do, do. Equals M. M. Big M. All right. Put in stuff. Oh, I forgot what M was little m. 2.1 kilograms times the quantity 9.8 times hi was 10.5 minus 1 half 10 squared and quantity over 10 squared. If I do that all that I end up with a mass of 4.44 kilograms. Okay, let's talk about points. So somewhere in here you had to do a kinematic equation, probably two, but I'm going to give you a point for picking and using a kinematic equation. Either you wrote this one out or that one out, whatever it is you used, you're getting a point for it, and you're getting a point for intermediate um, uh, kinematic value, so either this one or this one, I, I don't really care which, but you're getting a point for that. So make sure you write one of them out. Okay, um, you're going to get one for the answer and one for the unit. That's up to four. You're going to get one for saying that energy is definitely conserved. Okay, so that's five. You're going to get one each for all the different the equations for all the energy you use make sure you write them out before you start plugging numbers in that brings me up to one two three four five six seven eight you get a point for showing that V equals Omega R either by writing it out or doing a direct substitution um, for either V or Omega and I need one more you know what heck this whole thing based on the fact that energy is conserved, so I'm actually going to give you two points 
for stating that energy is conserved either by writing it like this or stating it in a sentence. Energy is conserved.